Sports is brought to you by Jim White Honda. I'm Jordan Strack. We're over at Central Catholic tonight. A crazy night of hoops all across our area. We've got girls regionals, boys districts, plus the Toledo men trying to clinch an outright MAC title. But we start tonight out in Sandusky. All right, we start in the Division One Girls Regional Semi from Sandusky. Northview taking on Notre Dame early in this one. Casey Baumhauer gets it on the wing. She would drill a deep ball. Baumhauer led all scores with 22 points. Then for Notre Dame, off the Wildcat miss, Grace Van Sluten grabs the rebound. Watch as she goes coast to coast with it. Hard to the rack, gets the bucket plus the foul. Eagles went to the locker room at the half, up by four. Second half, Notre Dame gets off to a fast start. Ball out to Olivia Sims. The three-pointer, nothing but net. Sims would finish the game with 14 points, but the Wildcats would claw back in it. Baumauer driving, kick it out to Cam Hunt, top of the key. She would bank in a three. That would pull them within a basket, but down the stretch, Van Sluten would just take control. Grabs the rebound over three Wildcats, gets the putback. She had 16, Notre Dame wins at 47-40. You know, Northview's a tremendous team. Casey's an unbelievable player um, who's had a, a great career. Um, so for us to come out on top after a one-point game going into fourth, I mean, we, we're excited and we should be. I mean, it feels great. It's great motivation for now, but I think we want something bigger than this, so we're going to keep working hard. Division two regional semi down in Mansfield. Napoleon taking on Bellevue, who is always a tough out. Lady Red working on offense. Get it over to Corey Santoro. She pumps and drives to the basket. Gets a tough layup to fall off glass. But the Wildcats defense just swarm in early. Kaylee Ressler gets the steal, takes it to the other end for the easy lay in. She would finish the game with 17 points and then some good ball movement by the Cats. Ressler, the nice feed to a cutting Taylor Strock. She had two of her 17 here. Napoleon advances to the regional final. They win at 48-32. Our district's really tough and um, we had to play all four quarters and so we didn't. We never started out strong and so that was our big goal for tonight. You know, we just needed to come out fast. Our defense was definitely the number one. I think Santoro is an amazing player and um, we, we had to contain her and they also have really good shooters and so that was the number one thing and that's what won us the game tonight. Boys District Division 1 at Central Catholic Track Player of the Year, A.J. Adams and Finley taking on at St. Francis. Great start for the Knights. The underdogs in this one, but they came out firing. Karan Hornbeek, the move into the paint, he would finish in there for two. On the other end, the Trojans, this is just perfection. The backdoor cut to Max Roth for the easy lay -in. He had a game-high 19. It was tied at 35 going to the fourth quarter, but Finley would pull away down the stretch. Roth to Dylan Ankney, he would lay it in for two of his 13. Trojans moving on, they win at 53-44. So the Trojans get the winner of this one between St. John's and Anthony Wayne. First half, watch this pass from Shane Garcia to a wide open Jaden McKinstry who lays it up and in this thing tight the entire first half. And then how about for the Generals? A great feed here. Evan Anderson sees a streaking Jacob Copley. He would make a tough bucket. But second half, St. John's would start to pull away. Jaden McKinstry inside to Thomas Zyrus, and then he gets it right back. McKinstry had 13. St. John's wins at 59-41. They get Finley on Saturday. Division 4 down at Defiance, Fayette taking on Antwerp, who is top 10 in Ohio. Eagles down at the break, trying to get back in it, get it out to a wide open. Phillip Whiteside, he would knock down a corner three. Fayette fighting hard in this thing, but just too much from Antwerp. Good ball movement, Landon Brewer knocks down a corner three of his own. Archers were rolling, and then the exclamation point here. Luke Kraus with a great pass down to Jagger Landers, he slams it home. He had a game high 23 points, Archers moving on, they win it 58-28. So Edward gets the winner of this one between Toledo Christian and Hicksville. Check out this play here. Eagles nearly come up with a steal. Hicksville, though, would get it back. Landon Tumble knocks down a three ball. The Aces were up early, but TC has some shooters of their own. Cole McWinnie, a little fake, pulls up from deep, drops it. The Eagles starting to find a little bit of a rhythm. And then how about more from TC? McWinnie surveys the floor. He can put it on the deck, too. Strong drive for the bucket. Trevor Winsink actually hit a buzzer beater in overtime to win this thing for Toledo Christian at 47-46. College Hoops, the UT men can be outright MAC champs with a win at Central Michigan tonight. First half, Keyshawn Saunders in transition. Can't get the layup to go, but JT Shoemate is there for the board and the putback. But then watch this play off the inbound. Spencer Littleson just absolutely all over it. A hustle play and an easy two there for the Rockets. Second half, Toledo was up 17 but it all slipped away and then a crazy turn of events. CMU would win it right here off the air ball three. The putback is good. Toledo does though clinch the MAC outright title despite the tough loss. And finally, the BGSU men have been hot late hosting Miami. This is just a wild finish. Watch this, tied at 74. The three ball is no good, but Caleb Fields there for the putback to win it. 
or so everybody thought. The clock actually malfunctioned at 0.7, so they had to review it. Terry Weimer goes to the monitor, says it's no good, so the game is heading to overtime. Unbelievable. The Bowser grad, Delonte Brown, amazing for Miami. He had 29. BG loses a heartbreaker in overtime, 84-79. One final note, number two, Michigan gets beat up tonight against Illinois on the home floor. The Wolverines will finish out the regular season with back-to-back -back games against Michigan State later this week. And that is it for sports.